Hey guys, I'm back again for another video and today I'm going to be doing my high-end foundation collection. A lot of you guys have been requesting for this one. If you guys really like this one then I will do another one for my drugstore foundations. So the first foundation that I have that is high-end is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. Now this is not the right shade for me. If I were to put this on now it makes me look super grey because it's just so light and I don't know how I managed to wear this for my review for this video. I think I was just probably lighter th then but I don't know it, it didn't look that bad on camera so um, but I don't really wear this I don't like how it sits on my skin anymore because I feel like over time my skin has just become just become really dry and just just cracks around my skin so especially around my mouth area it just really cracks and it looks very drying but it's not a bad foundation for coverage and the colours are okay, it's a good yellow tone foundation, so if you've got oily skin, this would be your best friend. My second foundation is my beloved Nashi Glow. This is one of my favourite foundations I own. I know that it will not let me down when I wear it. It's in the shade Tahoe, it's medium to dark too. Um, and I've used this one a lot. This is what the bottle looks like, the pack packaging is really cute. I'm guessing this is great for like all skin types, I, I think it's best for more normal to dry because it's more of a like a slippery dewy foundation um, but I really really love this one, this just makes your skin look so good. The next foundation that I absolutely love and is one of my all time favourites and I did get it recently and it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick and I'm in the shade 173 which equals to what Y445 and oh, if I have a kit, this is the foundation that I would try to get in all the colours because oh my god it's just so nice and it's the foundation that I'm wearing today and it just never lets me down. It looks so good on the skin and it looks really really natural and I just love it so much. <sighs> Guys, I'm trying to build my makeup kit because I want to start freelancing and I just need this in my kit. I, I know it will be really expensive but I think... I guess like I want good quality if I do have clients so yes this would be the one I would have in my kit. The next foundation I own is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Toasty Toffee. You guys know I love this foundation only sometimes though. When I'm really really dry I don't like to wear this but it just makes your skin look like it's a doll like kind of skin and it makes your skin look really really flawless. Um, it makes your skin look flawless to the point where you know you're wearing makeup. Um, sometimes I don't mind that, it just makes your skin look so good. Um, it's very full coverage and if you're wearing this make sure that you cleanse well at night because it's a heavy one, you know that it's there. It's not a lightweight foundation, it's a full coverage one and you will feel it, feel it on the skin. Um, and what's good about this is that you don't need that much, you just need a little bit and it's amazing on the skin. It is more for oily skin but I have dry skin and it works fine on the days that I'm less dry. Um, if I'm really dry it can kind of like dry me up in these areas here and here so I try to not use it when I'm really dry but apart from that it's a good one. The next foundation that I own is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin um, Serum Foundation. This, I do not like this one, I do not know why I still have it, it's probably off by now. I just don't like it. It just feels very, it feels like a dry oil. I don't know, I don't remember how I felt with it. I think I liked it in my review. It looks good on the skin, but once I took it and I tried to blend it with a brush and it was just smearing on my face. My mum tried it and she was like, what is this crap? Like, ugh. Like, she didn't, she ran out of her foundation so she used one of mine and she grabbed this one and it was just smearing on her face. There was like streaks and it was just not setting into the skin and it was just terrible. It was really bad. I'm in the shade Honey. The shade's fine, like it's perfect. It's right there. But it just feels like a dry oil and it smells like Play-Doh. I don't know, but it's in, it's in my collection. We'll never buy it again. I don't recommend it. Some people love it, I just don't love it. Like, I just hate it really. Ugh. And then the last and final high-end foundation that I have is uh, the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Warm Honey. This is actually a really good foundation. It, If you put like a little bit, it just looks like skin. 
Um, this again, I will probably have this in all the colours in my kit as well. It's just all good for all skin types and it's just a really, really good foundation. Sometimes, like when I first used it, I really didn't like it, but lately I've been using it more and it just looks really nice on my skin and it doesn't like crack up like around my mouth area, which I really like. But yeah, that's the last one I own. So that's my high-end foundation collection. I try to make this video as quick as possible because I don't really like having long videos. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think because I just don't like long videos. I like it when it's straight to the point and it just, you know, I just show everything and talk about it quickly. I do have a foundation review for mostly all of these foundations so I will probably leave a link if I can to the playlist in the info box. And then, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a drugstore one. I don't really have that many foundations. Well, I actually do, but compared to all these beauty guru gurus on YouTube, I don't have that much. Um, that's why I don't do a whole found makeup collection, because I don't have that much makeup. It's just all cramped up in a few bags. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!